Well, you know, she's our typical patient that has chronic intractable low back pain with pain in both legs, what we call bilateral lower extremity radiculopathy. She's also uh, a typical patient because she's had back surgery that unfortunately wasn't successful. And even though she's had, she's had surgery and epidural injections before surgery and after surgery, she's had all kinds of physical therapy and medications, she continues to suffer with significant pain. Today, in fact, she rated her pain prior to the procedure at eight to a nine over 10. So she's suffering and the pain limits her ability to do activities of daily living. So we bring her in today, uh, place her on her stomach, much like she's had many, in the same way she's had many epidurals. We started an IV and gave her just a touch of sedation. I mean, just something to take the edge off, just a little bit of Demerol, just a, a touch of Versed, just to help her relax. We used our fluoroscopy machine, which is a continuous type of x-ray, to look down inside her back. And uh, we mark her skin, we prep the area with a betadine solution, drape, a sterile drape. We use a little local anesthetic and we place a couple of needles in the epidural space at about a 30 degree angle uh, at the at what we call the inner space of T12 and L1. Once we put the needles in the epidural space, which is a fairly simple thing to do, it only takes a couple of seconds. Uh, once the needles are, the tip of the needles are in the epidural space, instead of injecting uh, a, a corticosteroid solution like we do when we're doing epidural injections, we thread this, what we call a spinal cord stimulator lead. It's almost like a little piece of spaghetti with little metallic contacts uh, you know, in, at the distal or the, uh, the far end part of the spinal cord stimulator lead. So we pass that little lead through the needle and we advance it up the epidural space towards the head, what we call a cephalad, meaning toward the head. So we pass that lead in the posterior part of the epidural space until we place the lead in an area that we know from experience will result in the type of coverage. The word coverage means that when we turn the, these little leads on, make them anodes and cathodes, positive and negatives, we'll be able to send a little electric, a, a small electrical signal to the posterior part of the spinal cord, which will result in a, what we call a paresthesia, which is a light tingling sensation directly over the patient's primary area of pain complaint. Her primary area was low back and both legs, so we place this lead around T7, T8, sometimes T9, place it right in the midline, and when we program a couple of these contacts, sure enough, she felt the stimulation right in, the, in her diffusely all through her back, into her buttocks, and down both legs all the way to her feet in an equal fashion. So that lead was placed perfectly. Now, although we know she suffers from chronic low back pain and leg pain from post-laminotomy syndrome, she also has cervical disc uh, uh, disease and she has what we call neuroframial stenosis which means the nerves in the neck are being compressed by the disc and she asked us if we could do anything for her bilateral arm pain. She hasn't had arm, she has had a cervical surgery, uh, she possibly would be a candidate for that but in as much as we were going to be doing this anyway we went ahead at her request and slipped the lead more cephalad meaning more up toward the head up into the cervical area again going at T12 L1 and using fluoroscopy to sort of walk the lead up the epidural space uh, using continuous uh, x-ray uh, vision and once we get the lead placed directly in the midline here we're spanning C3 to C5 and we program a couple of these contacts again just to send a very very small electrical signal to the posterior or dorsal part of the uh, spinal cord she felt a paresthesia we created coverage over both arms in equal fashion all the way down to her fingers and most patients find this to be a very pleasant sensation they'll say it it feels very smooth it feels like raindrops and, uh, and uh, we're hoping that uh, this ends up in providing her a very dramatic, significant pain relief, and I have a good feeling it's going to work for her.